this 90 minutes was bonkers. Mm. <laughs> it was bonkers for 11 minutes. Uh, yeah. The, uh, because it was two apiece. Yeah. Two, two goals apiece <laughs> after 11 minutes. But it was... It was a fantastic offensive game from Man City and, and a poor game in defence. Yeah. You know, it just, just sums it up. Three goals given away at home. I know we're going to get to the VAR. Some wonderful football, some great performances all round. And Tottenham were dominated, but we expected that. Uh, but we didn't expect him without Harry Kane to score three goals at the Etihad. Mm -hmm. And that's what's got them through. It was PlayStation stuff, almost, yeah. wasn't it? That, that opening 20 minutes, every time someone went forward, they scored. And from a neutral's point of view, I don't think I've seen much like that. No, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but you end up watching this game, and after the final whistle, you're like, <sighs> I know. What? <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, <laughs> that ending, Shay. Yeah. W w was obviously, VAR has added a new element to it, yes. so we've never seen anything like that before. No, 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 we haven't. And, and in all honesty, as the law is written, it was the right decision. Of course, it was offside. It, it, it was offside. We, we have questions about the law and, and yeah. well, in, in particular that aspect of it and, and how it's written, but it, it, it was offside. And, and it's a cruel blow, and especially when you consider what Liverpool had to endure 12 months ago at the hands of Liverpool. Um, again, a, a poor decision that VAR probably would have overturned. This time around, um, you, you're, on the, you're on the receiving end. And, and all of a sudden, now Pochettino's become VAR's biggest, <laughs> yes, biggest, okay. biggest admirer. And, and but ultimately, the only thing we're talking about, and everybody is going to be talking about, is the, is the referee's decision. Well, let's talk mm -hmm. about it then. Obviously, it's 4-2 at this stage. Manchester City are going through. Spurs have a corner. It's played in. It comes off. Fernando Llorente ends up in the back of the net. The goal is given. The referee goes to check VAR. He's been told by VAR to go and have a look. There is a question whether or not it comes off Fernando Llorente's hand as it goes off his hip, then to go into the back of the net. The referee, you could see the referee, after he's looked at it, goes to the city bench and he, and he kind yeah. of taps his hip. Mm -hmm. yeah. Taps his hip, suggests that's where the contact well, he was. Well, you know, he was told to go and look at it because the officials above or outside, thought there was something, mm. yes. something that he had to look at. Then, in my opinion, he was given the wrong angles by the host broadcaster. So time he and time again. Time and time again. They tried to rock and roll it and rock and roll it to determine whether it hit the arm, which, from another angle, the best angle, it clearly hits the arm. This is the one from behind the from goal, be through the net. Yeah, through the net. You can clearly see. So it hits the arm, then goes onto the hip, and it goes in. So, for those out there saying, well, it's not obvious, it's not clear, it's not, there's no intent... Think about this. The arm cannot have a material effect in a goal being scored. And this does. I was saying to you before we came on air, if you're running through on goal and the ball's bobbling up and your arm's by your side, right by your side, and you've no intent, but it hits it and it just, pump, it just pushes it into the path and then you score, that goal is chopped off because mm -hmm. it has had a material effect on the outcome, whether you meant it or not. And I think we're all, I think we're all mm -hmm. kind of on, yeah. on the same page in terms of the fact it, it, it comes off the arm, uh, onto the hip, and then in. And then it's had a material effect, and a goal being scored and should be chopped. I, in I, other I, words. Think, I, think that, I think that's a key point, on a goal being scored. Because let, let's, for a, a, for a, a moment, uh, assume that we're talking about Spurs defending. And the ball comes over heads and into a crowd and somehow hits your rente in the arm and then, and then on, the, on the thigh, let's say, and then, yeah. and then he clears the ball. Right. That's not a penalty. Okay. That, that's that's, that's a, a totally different yeah. scenario here. If it brushes the arm and hits him on the thigh and he clears it, fine. That's not a penalty, take your throw in or wherever the ball goes. But it brushes your arm and hits the hip and ends up in the back of the net. Then, now given the redraft of the, of, of the law, that should have been choked off. I, I'm flabbergasted that he wasn't given... I mean, there was probably... I'm thinking back to... There'd be plus 20 cameras at that game. Yeah. Probably more, maybe 30. I'm flabbergasted that he didn't get half a dozen angles minimum. You know, low, high, from behind the goal, the one that he got rock and rolled all the time, which was really inconclusive. Yeah. When there was better angles out there, that, and then he can make an informed decision rather than just seeing the one thing going back and forward all the time. I don't think he was done any favours in getting to mm. his decision, which was sticking by his original decision. M moving on from that, obviously it's something that we could dwell on a lot, but it's interesting, as always, every day I put out a tweet saying any questions for the boys, excuse me, for extra time. A lot of them 
asking if Pep is overrated. Is Pep a fraud? Can Pep do it without Although Lionel Pep, Messi? Oh, yeah. Because the, the, the thing is, you take a look at his Champions League record, and of late, obviously, he has stumbled. Not at the final hurdle, at the quarter-final stage, at the semi-final stage, round of 16, of course, before that. Well, we're in a knockout competition now, and for anybody that sends a, a, a tweet in asking if, if Pep Guardiola is a fraud, it should be taken down immediately. Because <laughs> the man is not a fraud, right? His teams, looking at them domestically, are magnificent. And that was proven last year, and it might be proven again this year. Now, when you're in... Not, no, there's, there's not... There's not Lack of criticism coming his way. He's not getting off scot free. I mentioned De Bruyne. There are, there are, you know, maybe other things we can look at as well. However, when you're in a knockout comp a competition like this, you're only a couple of Laporte mistakes away mm -hmm. from going out. It happened to them last year at Anfield. They had a really bad 90 minutes. It cost them. They've had a bad, I don't know, what, 10, 15 minutes, maybe max, in this game, and then a referee decision. That's cost them. What we've got to discover is, was it a handball? And uh, it doesn't matter what angle you see it at, um, there is that one angle that shows you the ball has hit his arm before it hits his hip to go into the goal. So the referee has the decision to make. If he'd seen that angle, and I don't think uh, Kahir, the, uh, the referee, Kaka, the referee, saw that angle, so that's one element to discuss. The other element is, well, was it a handball? I don't think it was a handball. I don't think it met the current criteria. I don't think it was a deliberate act. I don't think that um, uh, the arm moved towards the ball. He certainly wasn't making himself bigger because his arm was tucked in. So if, if it had hit his arm, I still don't think that would have been a handball and I think the goal should have stood. Now, let me just follow up very quickly. The fact that um, uh, the Spanish referee is saying that there should not be a goal scored with your, with your arm is quite correct. However, the goal wasn't scored with his arm. The goal was scored with his hip. So, therefore, that goal was a good goal. Oh, Peter. <laughs> I love you. I do. And I appreciate the hard work that you put in. However, let's start with the fact that... Let's make it a yes or no question. Did the ball touch the arm, yes or no? Or no? Yes, it did. OK. And did that touch on the ball have a material effect on the outcome of the play? Yes or no? Yes, it did. And so at this point is when I would say, if I were a lawyer and we were in a court of law, I rest my case. Because if indeed it had a material effect on the outcome of the play, and it's a handball, and it ends up in a goal, how is this not overturned by VAR? OK, well, let me just come back on that, because you're quite right in saying that has a material effect. That material effect is in law from the 1st of June, not at the moment. The lawmakers have made that specific. So that phrase you've used there has a material effect, comes into effect next month, not, on, not the game last night. So the game last night was being played as the law is written and interpreted at the moment. And at the moment, that is not a handball. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.